Hello, today I'm going to be showing you a, another strategy for chimps, and this one is Gwen with Overdrives or Taxon. I am doing this on a little bit more of a harder map, and it's a bit strange with the setup, so things might look a little more complicated than they are, but I'll post kind of a, uh, an, like another example on an easier map a bit later on to show you what a more simplified version would look like. But generally to start, we'll get one down as early as possible. It's kind of funny because in this uh, example, one doesn't really do anything besides throw the cocktail around. Um, but uh, on a easier map, you would have one attacking, which would make things a lot easier. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a early game carry because the, on a lot of maps, attacks don't really like clean up the early game fully and some maps they definitely will and you could kind of skip this step but generally i'm just gonna keep with it because it makes things a lot more consistent and easier so i just have a simple sub and alk going and we get apd and that will eat all the stuff for this map and then with the subs of course i get the intel Alright, so the next thing that we can do is go straight into the villages, and because we have a lot of towers that we're using, I'm going to be getting the double discount, and I do mess things up right here because I accidentally get two jungle drums, all the, I got the jungle drums in the wrong village, and I later end up having to get the jungle drums at the other village, but we are going to be needing a camo village, so I'm just going to get the uh, drums there. And then I'm going to get a spiked mines to help out with rounds like 63. And just in general, the spiked mines is really good and it also helps a lot on this map. Um, normally, you would go with 420, but in this specific scenario, I need that. And we can use the uh, Firestorm Blade and Clutch. And now I'm going to get the attack. I'm going to get a bomb shooter to help. Uh, stun these ceramics because they are being very pesky and we can go into another texture and an embrittlement and then I think after that we go straight into a taxon. Alright so I have my 410 embrittlement and then with this we can go into the taxon and that is going to deal a lot of damage in particular with the buff from Gwen and the buff from the Embrittlement. So this is a pretty solid strategy already, and you can do a few things from this. Um, because of the space issue, I did not really do uh, the space correctly for this. Um, I'm going to do Super Brittle, but as you can see from that picture, um, you that's another alternative that you can do instead of super brittle just spamming a bunch of overdrives personally i think it's way more cool way better and a lot more fun but you can also do super brittle like i did here and then get a few more tags and then get some support so for support um we have the super brittle will decamo and give lead to the um tax as well as gwen so we have that covered just get some sabos for the DGT, some Moab glue for the Moabs. A, actually, we do not need first strike, which is pretty cool because these do so much single target damage. And then after that, we need to get another sabo. Round 95 was kind of dumb on this map, but normally it's going to be completely free. And this is a pretty set and done setup. Um, I do out buff the... Um, Attack zone. It's not necessary, it's not the biggest buff in the world, but if you can, you definitely can. And then you can also use the abilities and win with like $32,000 left over. 